you want to introduce yourself, Rob, and say um, a bit about yourself, your role, and a bit about the play, and a bit about what's new on this tour. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I'm Robbie, and um, this is uh, Diary of a Madman, Mark II. Uh, we're standing on the, the new, improved set, and uh, this is what we're going to be um, touring Wales with, and then going up to Edinburgh with, um, <clears throat> on our, our next little excursion of, of the production. We've been looking at the set quite a bit in terms of how we're going to work with it, but also we've been going back to the Michael Chekhov techniques this time around as well, which is fantastic, and we're just, uh, it's been great because I've been able to kind of deepen my understanding of working with those techniques, and um, yeah, so it's gone really well, and we've um, been working Katie Stevenson like a dog, and uh, she is she is entering into her own mad person territory, because of all the jobs we're asking her to do, but she's coping valiantly, and uh, there is a curry for her at the end of this, as a little bonus. Um, uh, but yeah, it's been really good. We, we've enjoyed it. It's been a really creative time and there's new things to the show. So if you have seen it, please come and see it again. Um, and yeah, fam. Okay. Think. For those who haven't seen it before, do you want to say a little bit about what happens in the play? The story, the story is about um, a civil servant, a low-ranking civil servant. Um, <clears throat> and He's probably got to an age where he feels like he needs to be recognised or feel of value um, in life. And he, perhaps that desire drives him to see things or seek things that maybe aren't quite attainable for him. And in that pursuit of that desire or those things, um, he slowly goes into a very surreal and um, hallucinatory world, um, which then people respond to as mad, being mad, and he spirals down, then down into uh, being taken into a, a mad house, as they were then, and um, his illness being dealt with in the way they did deal with illnesses at that time. So although it sounds like it's quite a dark play, which it is, it's also quite funny, quite light and moving or, or human, it's very human that desire I think to, to be of worth or to be loved or to perhaps be recognised as something unique or special in, in life. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a hopefully fun but um, poignant journey that he goes through to the end.